Hey folks, Keith with 93 Lumber coming back at you with another beer. This is Hoppager for the world. This was given to me by Matt from Massive Beers. It is their extra Giardiniera. I don't know how to say that. I'm trying really hard not to look at the tasting notes. I do not know what the tasting notes are as of right now because I have not looked at them. <clears throat> uh, this is a Citra, Eldorado, and Mosaic Hopped Triple India Pale Ale. 10% alcohol by volume. Uh, he, gave me, he gave me five cans, four different beers, and I am doing these by how... Uh, uh, oldest to newest um so this is the second one i'm doing and uh, uh this was canned on packaged on 11 8 21 so that makes this two two weeks oldish it says welcome to uh something something that starts with a g and ends in an ardsville but i don't know what it is i also have proper glassware thanks to matt as well so thank you matt for all the things That looks like a fucking looks like fucking butternut squash soup, kind of. Maybe a little less orange, a little lighter. I actually, I still do get a shadow through it, which is kind of impressive. But yeah. It is about half finger of a, I would call that soapy, is it? I'd say it's just off-white, off-white head. And uh, yeah, let's see what it smells like. Smells very green. A lint incense in here, and it's still like it's still in the air. It just smells, I don't know. Like to me, it kind of just comes off like generic IPA kind of thing. Like it does smell a little bit heftier than. I don't know if this is just a bad glass to get a nose off of. Because, what, citrus, maybe some stone fruit in there, maybe. But yeah, just smells green in like a, just a, I don't know. I don't even know. I'm just going to see what it tastes like. Thank you, Matt. Cheers.
go. It's not doing much for me right now. A little bit of citrus, kind of the same thing I was getting in the nose. Citrus, a little bit of citrus, a little bit of stone fruit. It definitely tastes like it's uh, like a bigger, there's there's just a touch of like alcohol kind of thing. Um, Definitely has a little bit of that like green, like, like dry hopped, chalky kind of thing. I'm sure there's better terms for all of these things, but that's, yeah. <clears throat> Little bit of like, like that, that greenness does touch on a little bit. Like it's not quite as, as it doesn't quite go that far, but the, uh, that greenness does lean towards like hot burn kind of, kind of, uh, kind of greenness. Like it tastes good. I don't know if just some of the, uh, some of like that, like that, like overly hopped flavor. I don't know if that's turning me off to like some of the other flavors that are in there. And I'm just like focusing on those, but I'm not getting much out of this. For like a 10% triple IPA. I mean, not that it doesn't taste good, but like specifically, I'm not getting anything really. Like, like I said, again, a little bit of citrus, maybe a touch of stone fruit, getting that greenness. And also, I was also kind of looking forward to this because one, uh, I, I think it was a triple IPA. There was a triple IPA I had from a uh, hot butcher and it was, it was awesome. It was, it's, I mean, I don't, I don't have much hot butcher. Like the only hot butcher I get is from Matt or, uh, Kyle from no hype, uh, gave me some, hot butcher one time and I might have gotten some from some other people but um <clears throat> I don't have much but like or I don't I feel like saying I don't have much is, is a weird way to say it but that's just my brain being weird um yeah so I don't get much hot butcher and I remember I don't know if he gave me a can or if we shared it, but there was a, I'm pretty sure it was a triple IPA. This was probably a few years ago or what it was like three or four years ago, probably at this point. And yeah, it was one of my favorite hot butcher beers. Hmm. Yeah. For me, this just tastes like a generic kind of triple IPA. Not that it's bad, but it's also not really giving me the, like I'm kind of sipping it a little bit more, like like taking little sips more than I would like a usual beer or like a not super high ABV beer. <clears throat> um, but uh, <clears throat> I'm mad that it doesn't taste like uh, 
peppers and carrots and celery and onion and garlic and oh, there's an olive here. I'm glad it doesn't taste like olives. Is that cauliflower up there? Now it's in my head that this is like, this comes off more onion and garlicky kind of thing. But I don't think, I don't think so. So I'm going to look at the tasting notes now. And uh, I probably did not do this very, did do this very well, but let's see. Ready? Bright citrus, sweet tropical, vibrant pine. The greenness that I was talking about could be described as vibrant pine. I'm not really getting much tropical. Maybe a really soft, generic tropical. And bright citrus, I said citrus, so. But, um, yeah. Actually, sometimes I forget to say bitterness. <clears throat> it's, it's weird. Sometimes, sometimes I use bitterness in the wrong way. Sometimes, and then sometimes I just forget to say bitterness. But yeah, that greenness is bittering, obviously. But, or maybe not so obviously. But when I said the greenness, I meant bittering. But yeah. Oh. I don't know. It's good. I'm, I am not, uh, I'm not. I do not have qualms about, have no qualms about calling this a good beer. I mean, obviously I don't drink stuff like this so much anymore. But, um, yeah, it's nice to have it. Yeah, that, um, it is quite bittering actually. <clears throat> Or actually, I already I already talked about how it leans towards hot burnness and all that stuff. So, yeah, this this beer is hitting me a little bit already. So, so I'm gonna I'm gonna call it there. Um, yeah. So thank you, Matt, for the glass and the beers. Um. I hope you're all doing well, taking care of yourselves, taking care of each other. You can like this video if you would like to. Subscribe to the channel if you have not already. You can follow me on Instagram at 93lumber. That's spelled out, 93lumber. And uh, we'll see you in the next one. Cheers.